Hey there, it's Laura Godwin, your Sensi Superstar Director, and I want to be your Leadership of Love Coach real fast this morning. So when my son was born, I was a nervous wreck. Um, I had never changed a diaper before. I had never held a newborn before. I was scared out of my mind. Even before he was born, I was scared. I bought that book, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and I read it like the Bible. I mean, I took notes. I highlighted. I reread chapters, and I tried to just soak up all of the information that I could. But when he was born, I was still a wreck. Like, I just felt so insecure and here, you know, this perfect little fragile bundle of joy and perfection, and he relied on me, and I knew I was not the best one for the job. I mean, I even watched teenagers in my church and in my community, and when someone brought in a, a new little baby, they were, oh, let me hold it, let me hold it, and I was afraid to even go near it because I just saw them as such fragile little beings and I just didn't want to hurt them or to mess them up or hold them incorrectly. And so when Luke was born, I um, I had already gotten that book, What to Expect the First Year, because I wanted to be armed and ready and I was owning this even though I knew that there were much better uh, people for the job than me, but Luke depended on me. And I had to junk my comfort zone, and I had to change his poopy diaper. I was scared. I had to give him a bath. Oh my gosh, such slippery little body. And I had to give him a bath, and it was um, hard, and I was nervous. And there were times where I realized that there were better ways, and you know, someone would have to show me the correct way to do something because I might not have been doing it best. Or sometimes I had to be willing to watch a video or watch someone else or, you know, really apply what I had learned in the book, even though it didn't feel natural. It didn't feel easy. It was hard. And I constantly second-guessed myself. I mean, seriously, I did. So, how does this apply to your leadership of love? So, what made me get out of my comfort zone? What made me just do it, even though it was hard and I felt like I was failing the whole time? Love. I just did it. And sometimes as leaders, we feel like that everybody else is more qualified for the job that we're supposed to do. Everybody else does a better job. We read books, but when it comes down to just doing it, it's hard. And I want to challenge you to just junk every reason in your mind why you're not the best one for the job. And just remember that just as Luke didn't expect me to be perfect, but he just needed me to take care of him, that's how your team feels. They don't expect you to be perfect. Just lead. Love them and lead. All right, that's your leadership of love moment. Good luck.